Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. I'm here with a small group today. We're going to be trading sort of a hybrid between the open strategy and the RV strategy. <clears throat> so remember, if you like what you see, to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe. Hopefully, you've read this disclaimer here. Uh, this is an entertainment uh, channel. We're educating through entertainment. So please seek the advice of a licensed financial advisor. Don't try to copy us um, unless you talk to somebody that you trust. Okay, so we're going to move that over. So today we're going to be doing PDD, PDD again. We've been trading it all week based on that original news on the dark pools. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing quite well with it. So I've marked, remarked it out again just to briefly go over. So this is what we consider the perfect one-minute layout. This is, of course, is the famous scalping indicator created by <clears throat> um, Day Trading for Success and AI and then some of our subscribers. So this is a must get if you don't have this yet. This is free on our channel. Go down to episode 82 and um, they have all the custom scripts for free. And the way you get them is you go down where it says show more um, on that uh, on the chart and, and you know or on the layout, you go down and then you highlight it. You go into where it says setup and then where it says import them there, you push control V, which basically tells you how to get them in. And then you can get them and you can also get the entire layout in. It won't move the custom scripts with them. So if you put the custom scripts in first, then move over the layout, it's a lot easier. So here I have a one minute chart with the scalpers indicator. And then I've minimized some down here a day, a four hour, a one hour, a five minute, uh, and another five minute here, the level two and the active trader. So briefly, we'll go over why I have what we have here. So level two, you probably know if you're trading large cap and that we're going to be trading, it has to be over $25 billion market cap and a $1 billion float. It, level two isn't going to help you much between the fact that it won't move that much to, as far as you won't see it, be able to read the numbers like it's going to move the stock in the same way as momentum stock. And then, and then a lot of these are hit. Hidden. So, you know, I have it up here to watch price action. I typically watch it right up here because this is what the market maker is going to give me is this number. And again, because this, this is a larger stock, um, it's it's going to fill pretty well every single time. It's There'll be some slippage, there'll be some spread and some slippage, but not too much. So uh, I'm just making sure that it is still reconciling because this looks a little weird over here. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. That's not good. Sometimes near the open, we get this problem. We have to get it to move a little bit, and then it will start to move. There we go. Um, so what are all these lines here? So the RV strategy, there's so many videos about it. So we take the close of the previous day. Um, which was under my picture, $141.73. And then you look at the ATR. So the ATR for the previous day was $5.32. So you divide that $5.32 and you, you subtract half of it from the close and you get the ATR low and you add half of it to the close and get the ATR high. That is our beginning channel for the RV strategy, which is a whole big strategy, which Day Trading Volume 1 covers the book or tons of videos about it. So you should watch those. I won't, don't want to go into deep about exactly what it is. And then in here, um, only because I do it like every video and everybody's so sick of it. <laughs> so, but the four hours, I mark as well. And why would I mark these four hours? And only within the ATR, I go a little bit in and out if I can. There's nothing above it. We are in the stratosphere here. Um, so that's one of the reasons that it's it's still a little bit exciting, even though when you rate this stock to pick it, it, it was only rating a seven today uh, with the RV strategy book. Or again, there's a video about how to rate it too. Um, so, but still, it's been doing well for us. I feel comfortable trading it uh, in the way that it moves. So I'm marking every four-hour pivot that I can within the ATR levels as well as a little bit below it. I also mark the fibs. How do we do the fibs? Well, we do a fib. Hello, cat. We do a fib um, down here for, on a five-minute 10-day from the low to the high. And that's my cat, Shiitake, who will sometimes press the keyboard, so I've got to be careful. And that gets some levels. I don't actually, I think that's one of the reasons we got a negative point. And then I have a five uh, minute um, as well on a two day. So uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, from here to here. So 
I don't think any, as you can see, none of those fib levels came inside. So I was doing some creative stuff today, guys. I was doing some, uh, trying to get some trends here based on a larger time frame. That's why they look like they're floating here. Uh, and then I even went down to marking some one hours just because um, I just couldn't get enough marked out in here. As you can see, I kind of picked up on the one hours where the four hours couldn't. So you, you, you might think if you're not used to this, this is a big jumbled up mess. What is this guy doing? Well, uh, trust me when I tell you that um, these uh, uh, um, pivot lines really work. So when you trade on a one minute chart, you, you know, they create channels and then you're trying to trade these channels. And um, just see, this is the volume profile, by the way, why it's all kind of cloudy here. So this is set for intraday. That's another thing that you should um, do on the layout if you don't, or just import this layout. Then I have it here uh, on the five minute set for intraday too, but this is set um, for a different setting. So all these things, you can get them. Um, let me just, let me just get ready guys. Um, I don't know if this is gonna keep going down or what, but if it is, it might be retracing a lot of its moves because it's been going up. So uh, it might be time for its big retracement and we could get a big, I mean, it kind of kind of went up already and then pulled back. Now that's not reflected on the five minute or the 15 minute chart. So, um, so you guys have seen me open all the charts. So this is specifically, this layout specifically designed for two strategies that we teach here, the RV strategy and the open strategy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a videotape, the videotape, God, sorry. I'm going to be doing a recording uh, over this weekend about how to pick your uh, stocks for the open strategy. And then probably next week, um, at some point, I'll be doing one again, even though I have a whole bunch for the RV strategy and they're in the books. Um, I'll be uh, doing it again so you guys don't have to buy the book if you don't want to. Um, and uh, and I'll go over it because I know there's a lot of new people coming in all the time and I know it's hard to find the videos, but and they've been they're episodic now, so they're all done in episodes. So um, usually if you type in what you want, like scalpers indicator uh, under the search of the videos, it's going to come up and there's one for trading view and there's one for think or swim. So make sure you're picking the one uh, that you want. Um, and then it shows you how to get those. And sometimes people have trouble, you know, downloading them on, on, on uh, Thinkorswim or TradingView. Um, a lot of times it's because they don't know to push Control V in, inside um, once you get them, the, once you highlight the URL. And there's various reasons. If you can't get them to work um, or, or the layout, and a lot of people have move, trouble moving the layout over. Um, you know, you can email me or you can uh, put it in the chat. It usually takes me two, three days, sometimes a little longer. Used to be worse, like two weeks to answer my chat. But uh, I've managed to get a system where I uh, allow so many, uh, so much time in a day. But um, or if you want to have an, a more engaging conversation about something, the emails are better clearly than that. Again, I don't. I don't get back to you immediately. So it's not because I don't care about your email. It's just a lot going on. So I'm not, uh, I know that uh, people would say, well, if you don't respond within, you know, 24 hours, then, you know, you're doing something totally wrong. Well, I'm coming from an older world where I, we didn't do that. I come from a world where we had snail mail. <laughs> so, so I'm not completely caught up with all the, uh, I mean, the first cell phone I had was like, you know, the size of two, two footballs. And it was so exciting to get that in, in between in my car. So world's changed. Most of you are a younger audience uh, and there was no Internet. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm aging myself here. But uh, so I don't respond because of all the things I have going on. But it's not because I don't care. I will get to them. And um, I will now if I get the same questions over and over and over again, um, you're not going to see me uh, respond to those that uh, that um, about, you know, well, I'm not even going to go into the questions, but um, I've answered them so many times. But if you want more reasons why uh, I'm not doing what you want, emails are better than chat because I'm not going to bring the whole world into whatever, whatever in particular questions that people are asking over and over again. So this looks like it's just going down, guys. Um 
So we use these lines as pivots. Um, this is the bottom, bottom of the volume profile, so I look for support down here. There's also a one-hour support line here, a four-hour, and then the ATR low, if it actually was to break down. How many do I have with me this morning? I do have a helper this morning, which I didn't think I was having, which is great that she's here. So I have 21 people today trading with me. Um, these are all people that have mostly gone through the whole process of being in the Million Dollar Margin Club. Guys, it's not open for anybody to come on Zoom. I, that's one of the questions I guess asked over and over and over again. And um, I would like to say that with all these videos, you guys can do it. You don't need to trade with anybody to tell you what to do. If you if you watch these videos, I literally go over every step. If you get that book, Day Trading Volume 1, it literally tells you when to go in out of every trade based on these lines, these pivots, these ceilings, these floors. So all this information's here if you want to spend a little time. You don't want to be you don't want to be in a position where somebody just tells you what to do and that's the only way you can trade. You want to learn yourself, right? And then you you'll be completely in control yourself. So um, that kind of fast money that you may or may not make is fleeting because I'm not going to be around forever, you know, uh, helping you trade or for that matter, anybody that you follow. So you need to learn yourself. And I, I know it's horrible to hear it, but you will be in such control and you can make money. And so many people are making so much money on the RV strategy and the open strategy. I know people are struggling, too. And I think that has a lot to do with the mindset. And I think you, you know that that you know, learning to hold longer or learning to keep your share size lower, um, what you can afford, you know, those kind of things. You know, trading is so emotional. And then trading in a sim, you need to trade in a sim. So it seems like it's doing, a, it's retracing up a little bit here. So it banked on that low four hour with a wick. Now it's right in the middle. I can't call a channel here, that's for sure. <clears throat> so I'm um, looking at the scalpers indicator now. You know, the sellers went down, the volume went down a little bit with them. Now, if this closes uh, up here with the buyers being, uh, no, it didn't. So it's not telling me that the buyers are ready to turn this around quite yet. So let's just see if, they, if it turns around at all. Yeah, I mean, we were going to wait till 10, but if I see something exciting here, I've kind of caught up on what I was talk, talking to the audience about, um, uh, the subscribers about. So, you know, if I see something I like here, that's why I said this is kind of a hybrid of the open strategy and the um, RV strategy. The open strategy, pretty much, I did don't have it marked here where the pre-market high and low was. Let me just see here. Um, There's the high way up there, right by that four hour and that one hour. And then the low is way down where it is right now. So if that keeps going by here, I'd say that's probably one of the better. Oh, that's the, I'm sorry, that's the uh, open session. Yeah, so here's the low. We're already below the low then. Yep, I was looking at the open session. So we're below the low. So we've broken that if we want to go down. And then the high is way up here, right above this four hour. Oops. Make that a green. Just so we know where that is in case it happens to head up there. And look at that. It's making a little turn here. So, yeah, I'm thinking about getting in somewhere in here. So... Let's see if this pulls back down again. I just really just want to get in and start scalping, and then I can – I always feel like I have more control. I, I don't like to sit and watch. I, I can uh, adjust accordingly. So let's see if I can catch this retracing down. No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Look at that power of that last on the scalpers indicator. I'm not going to buy. I'm, I'm in, guys. So I went in. Where 
is my uh, oh that's why it was there was zero money there okay so I'm long at 140 okay you're chatting with them 14069 14069 I'm long and it's consolidating right around this one hour so let's see it just the volume really dropped right when I got in everybody's trading the same share size that's the deal we have here 1,000 shares ouch well if it breaks down through here I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse so I'll call that uh, so first of all for losses I'll do 500 per trade is my max loss per trade right now for this particular trade if it breaks through here I'm gonna reverse which is 14050 so let's see if that that speed that means I've called it wrong um, to me anyway so 14050 is where I would uh, everybody's long right yep we're all long now they all make their own trades I'm calling the ball I'm quarterbacking but everybody's responsible for their trade their own trade I'm not a licensed financial advisor so it's exciting to trade together and we have a lot of competitions in the video archives where you had to make so much money in so few minutes or you're out of the competition. We have some where we have a bunch of students that were taught to trade. You might want to find that video. That's a lot of fun. That was a competition where they named their teams, and um, that was a lot of fun too. And there's a lot of different – and we have a lot of sh low share size, some competitions or just videos, how to just trade with 50 shares. Uh, you can make, you know, you, you don't need to have this large share size. Here we go. So this is good. So I always uh, reverse instead of um, uh, cover or uh, sell. Not always, always, but close to always, um, just so I stay in a position. So uh, I'm going to use these channels to help me decide along with everything else, the scalpers indicator. Uh, not too much level two on the large caps here. The um, I will use the volume profile. We're heading up to the point of control right here now on the intraday volume profile. But there's a video that shows you how to set this. You can literally, sometimes you'll literally see the price action start to shoot across these, these blue lines. Oh, yeah. I also use the five minute to watch. And I just want to make sure that I'm, oops, get off of the hand. I want to make sure I'm seeing here. So we are green on the 15 and the 5, so my perspective is right. Sometimes when you're scalping the short scalps, you can um, you can get mixed up. You're like you're trying to make this little money here, and you're holding for the wrong direction when you go, oh, it's going to come back, but it's stair-stepping. You don't see it. So it's always good to get a better, you know, a bigger perspective. Since I'm only going to trade about 30 minutes, um, 15 minutes is about this biggest perspective that I would need. Um, but I like to think there's a lot of people that only trade 15 minutes, a lot of people that only trade five. I do normally have a grid on here that's every five minutes. I find that it slows me down. I, I've been having trouble of it slowing down the thinkorswim platform. That's one of the custom scripts we offer. So I'm trying to work on that so that doesn't happen. So here's one of the weird uh, trend lines, and I don't have a lot of respect for it, but um, that is one of the trend lines that I drew. Look, it's a great move, guys. So let's not lose this money if it starts to – it went right through the point of control. Um, is it going to respect that? I mean, what I did is it just lined some up on a 10-day. Um, I'm getting repetitive phone calls, which usually means there's an emergency of some sort, some sort here. We'll see if it continues. I don't know if you can get on that for me, but um, yeah, I don't know why they're calling me like this, but it's very distracting um, since they know I trade right now. So that usually means something big. I do own businesses, and there is other stuff I do, so... Um, wow, it just blew right through those. So those mean nothing, obviously. I kind of just put them out there as a lark because I have nothing up here. We're about to be at the end of anything I have to mark. Yeah. Well, there's a fib up here. Is there more up here? Yeah, that's it. So fib and a four hour from one of those four hours from way back. So this is, this did a complete reverse, huh? Look at that. 
So past where it was at the open. So this could this could definitely go back down. So we don't want to lose this. Um, what was the deal on that, on that situation? Okay, you got on the phone. All right. Um, oops. See, it definitely distracted me. I should have tried to capture that little that little scalp now. I was up to I hesitate to reverse now. I don't know if it's going to continue to go down. Um, so once if, if it breaks through these it's just pure scalping skill at that point. It's just like pure, and that, and what I mean by that is it's guessing. That's <laughs> what I mean by scalping skill. I mean, you're going to watch these indicators, but I love to have support and resistance lines. I feel, you know, pretty, uh, pretty abandoned without them. So, um, like the candlestick pattern, the abandoned baby, not the abandoned old man, the abandoned baby. Yes, as you get older, people marginalize you. It's like, well, he doesn't really have anything. Guy's about to go, right? Really? How much has he got to offer? <laughs> there was a time when I was younger in my teens and 20s where I thought, like, you know, older people, you know, they get, you know they're just taking up space. <laughs> it's terrible. Your perspective changes, of course, as you start to get older. There's a, there's a bit of ignorance there. I wasn't a cold-hearted didn't think you should go out and kill them, but I just had, I definitely had that attitude, you know. Uh, it was just until I, I, you know, learned more. I think that changed in my 30s. I wasn't, it was ignorance in my youth, really, just thinking that way. Um, I, uh, I, my, my personal belief is like every form of life is should be cherished. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to, you know, uh, things that aren't alive and acting like they. It matters, you know, so I, I, I go overboard. It's like, you know, I'm not even going to, I'm going to sound crazy, so I'm not even going to make an example. But, um, and these guys know our conversations are, they're crazy. They're crazy. Yeah, I'm going to just sit here until I see a move down because it might just stair step up. So, like that, you know, well, so it broke the pre market high right there. So that could drop back down. That's the only thing we got, which means, well, we've got the, no, I'm, what am I saying? We've got the ATR up here. Um, so the ATR high we want to look at. Um, wow. comes a point up here where I just want to reverse and um, think about capturing pullbacks. I'm going to actually do that, guys. I'm going to try to start doing some quick trades here to, to capture this. And it could be a mistake, but I'm going to try to um, get a couple hundred here, a couple hundred there as it pulls back. Or it will not pull back, and I just made a bad mistake. There was no reason to do what I just did there. No reason except looking for a pullback, uh, for, for a brief pullback while it keeps going higher. That's all I'm doing. I'm trying to scalp a little bit more money out of the just hanging because I'm not a guy that just hangs on to a trade. So I need to be ready to reverse quickly. If this, see, that's 120, 230. I guess I'll let that get to 400 and I'll, uh, if that gets to 400, I'll call it, I'll, I'll call it a, a, a mistake. So let's see what happens here. Or I might take a lesser loss in here because it's not going it's not going good for me. Well, my first place is about to not be first place. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta get out of that. Wow. It literally did not uh so it's heading up to the ATR. That was dumb, right? Now it's going down. So I got one forty four thirteen. Yep, I was bored. I was bored and lost a bunch of money. And now it's coming down. You know what? That's the puppet master. 
Oh well, I feel stupid. <clears throat> Gonna have to make it up. Gonna have to make it up, guys. You know, when you scalp like that, oh my God, you see if I just hung on to it, guys. <laughs> Going back to where I was. Uh, annoying. Yeah, I called it. I just didn't hang on. I, I set a I set a max loss and I need to do it again in a second here. Yeah. So uh Oh my god. Look at how the volume dropped. Yeah, this 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 looks more and more like it's going to go down and now I'm going the wrong way. Wow. Still the 5 and the 15 minute everything's everything shows high here. I'm, I think I'm going to go short for a lesser loss in a second. I'm not feeling good here. If it pops up here high enough where I can maybe get a green trade, it doesn't look like it's going to. It's being stopped at 144, so it's not even getting to the ATR. 144 is a, is a strong ceiling. Oh, man, guys, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, wow. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. <sighs> Look away. Look away at the pain. Look away. Break me back over 2,000. I'll reverse. Go back over 2,000. Let me give me a chance in here. It's almost there. Just break up just a little bit. Give me a break. Come on. Get up there. You know, the second I reverse, it's going to shoot up. Right? You guys know that's what's going to happen. Come on, man. It is just not. It's consolidating right there to go down, not up. So every second this goes on, I'm, I'm feeling less and less confident. I'm just going to reverse right there. Ouch. Ouch. I have to do some I'm gonna have to do some moves here man to make up for these bad uh, trades I just did I lost like eight hundred dollars or something there not to mention it could have been a green trade so it's more like I lost fifteen hundred dollars so I could be up at 30 over three thousand had I called those correctly so the move did stop I figured it too quickly and then it was gonna go short and then it shook me out of the short and now I'm and then I went long. Does that happen three times? Maybe. I don't know. Shook me out of the long, and now I'm back short again. You see here, this isn't helping me. I've got no channel to help me. There's your nine moving average. I've got the pre-market high down here. That could be some support. So I'll look to that to play that reindeer game again. I'll look to that for my support. Look at that. It's actually respecting that on the five minute a little bit. Um, I think I cut it across the pre-market, that trend. Wow. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. All right. I have witnesses that that's totally not fair. It's going to be one of those days, huh? We've had a really good week with it. I'm way over my weekly... Uh, 25k a week i'm way over that so being green i should be just happy to be green um
try to get a bigger picture here. It's just sitting here. So I made those two little things, which are kind of, you know, I wouldn't give these a lot of respect, but I don't know, maybe it'll start to just churn in a little channel here, you know. That's not much a 10 cent channel right there. Here we go. I got some money now. A little bit back over 2000 Tempted to take it. Looking for it to get, okay. Now it's a real move. So I don't want to get out prematurely. I will look to, I am going to reverse there at the, wow, did it actually hit that? It's, it's, I'm going to reverse right there, guys. Oh, and it went right through it as soon as I did it. Wow. Hit that four hour. I got over 2,000 again, but that could go fast. You're saying, follow the trend. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to capture movement is what I'm doing, and it didn't work for two times in a row, so this could be the third time. What am I doing up there compared to you guys? Right, I'm at, uh, I'm at, where am I at with these guys? We have 27 now. I'm long, right? Oh, good, okay. So we now don't use that as a resistance. Blow through that. So my position is 143.26. So I'm right at the pre-market, which is exactly what I said I was going to do. Oh, I'm squeezing my mouse too hard because I've been having bad trades, and that's what I do when I have bad trades. I squeeze the mouse too hard. Willing the stock to go the way I want. Once I, I'm in, okay. Well, I'm still in the top 10, believe it, with all these mistakes. So that's good. Probably because they followed along with me. <laughs> it just, which is why I say, guys, learn for yourself. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm definitely fallible. So, um, I guess I'd look to this. This is the only thing I got as a possible reversal. Or it could break through here. I mean, this is the next one, 143.89. It went all the way up to 144, but it really rejected off of 144 in a big way. So, um, so I do kind of feel I'm going the right way right now um, with the action that I'm seeing. From the billions of candlesticks I've seen on charts. Yeah, the Day Trading Volume 2 book is going to be all about candlestick patterns and ratings and, um, you know, analytics for the, for uh, analyzing charts. It's just a really good uh, from what I've seen, it's a really good book to teach people uh, very, very simply what to look for. Kind of excited about that book. I'm having my own flashcards made up for it um, as well, laminating them. Okay, well, it's doing good. It broke through that first line. Oh, don't. Don't suck me in. Oh, I want to reverse so bad. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Is it going to bounce off? Let's see if it, I'm waiting for it to get up near 144. That's where I would be more inclined to reverse. Here it comes. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try a pullback at 144. Is it going to, it looks like it's going to break it and stay above it. I don't want to get too far uh, out of the sink here if it keeps going up. Got it at 05. Okay, 
few more cents and I'm going to, uh, uh, then it goes so far that I'm like, I should just hold it. You know how this goes, right? I'm looking for a pullback there. Yeah. So it's going to keep going up. I'm just going to reverse there. So I took a hit hundred bucks. And there it comes. I could have just hung on a second longer, made it. I really thought it broke 144 for good, but, uh, for a much bigger move anyway. You guys, most of you, most of you stayed long, which was smart. Some of you followed me into my, my wishes, my hopes and dreams of scalping. Again, normally with the RV strategy, you, you have a lot, wow, you have a lot more to go by. So now the ATR could turn it around. I'm going to beat my head against the wall and try the ATR. Then the next is a double fib and a four hour. 144.43 would be a spot. 144.50. Let's look at 144.50, the half dollar, as an area that may be reverse. But I just keep taking away my, my profits here. The goal is 5K a day. This is a competition I would, I could get kicked out of day two. That's how bad I'm doing here. Well, I definitely could have got a little scalp right there, but it didn't even make it to the ATR. So Now, the ATRs are highly respected, that little cut in half from the day before, and it's giving you the actual range over a 14-day with Wilder's um, um, indicator, and it's not just a random, that ATR is not in a random spot. That is a spot that's typically well-respected. I'm actually going to reverse there because it looks like it's respecting it. I'm going to turn around. It's going to go down a little bit first, right? You're going to go down a little bit first? Really? You're going to hurt me again, aren't you? Oh, God. I'm just going to take a loss and get out right now. Yep. I'm just going to take a loss and, and keep right. It wants to keep going up. So you look at the, the strength of the last volume with that. So me putting too much credence in the ATR is where that trade went wrong. It seemed like it respected and it was going down if you watch the, the pattern. Um, but I don't, again, I just do not have a lot to go on here. Except I, you have more coffee. Excuse me. Whoa. I'm going to hang on to it to see if it breaks that fib. That is a double fib and a four hour. That should be a very strong resistance. If it goes through that, it could just go crazy up there. Dude, that's at 84. Can't get it much higher than that. If it's good, I'm going to turn, I'm going to try it there. I'm going to go ahead and try to turn around with it there. Oh, it's going to break through it. I just keep trying to get the pullback at the right plug. Oh. This is insane. It just keeps going up. I should just I should have just held. I'd be like 5500 or something now. These are the days those guys say like, "Why are you doing all that? You could have just bought it and held it for the whole way and not made a single trade." It's true. And sometimes you make more money that way more often than not if you call it right, you make a lot more money scalping, but I have not been calling it right.
yeah, I'm trading, uh, I guess I'm trading uh, longer than I normally trade, right? Getting to the end of my thing here. So I think I should stop trying to, uh, um, wish that's to 5k because that's that's what my dream was but um i blew it by the way i traded this unfortunately guys so not a great video to learn from but you know it's still a nice profit right now Guys, I'm going to be calling it a day soon because I have an issue to take care of as well as I've been trading a while. So. I'd like my last trade to be a green trade. It's just going to keep stair-stepping up. It's one of those days I should have just hung on to it. You know, it happens. It happens a lot. I did catch it. You know, this wasn't by, by scalping skill. I just catched it going up. Catched it. I catched it. Um, caught it going up. And uh, I was trying to, like, school you guys. And I got schooled myself by just um, anticipating, you know, support that just wasn't there feelings in my toe I, I think i should turn around and uh, you know sometimes that works intuition you don't know really what what is intuition right is it just a bunch of stuff that we know that we can't explain right is that what intuition is that i had intuition that was going to turn around so that was totally not correct so luckily it was not life or death <laughs> so and luckily, I was green to start with. So, um, well, it really looked like it was going to help me out there for a second. And now it's like not uh, really respecting that double fib. Look at that, huh? Absolutely respecting. I'm right at the line. I'm right there. That's just at 84. So, um, it's trying to decide is it going to keep going use that as a springboard yeah 145 is the that's the new number now um or is it going to break through it and come crumbling down I, i'm looking for a four here i'm looking for a four right there that's why i'm hanging on a little longer wishful thinking Anyway, guys, if you like what you see, remember to give a thumbs up. There are days I trade way better than this, um, but hopefully it was educational and uh, somewhat entertaining to see me miss a couple of those trades. Um, we appreciate the subscription for the channel. Don't forget to check out all the links to all the really cool books the Million Dollar Margin Club puts out. Very, very helpful strategies in there. And I'll put out a video this weekend, uh, more detail about the open strategy. Yeah, so if it's, it's going to blow through 145 too, because I just got to get I got to get out if it does that too. There we go. Now blow through that fib. You see how fast you went down? Slam through that. Break that ceiling, that floor. Break through that floor. Check out this basement area. Come on down here. I grew up on a boat when you went to the bathroom. We went around the world, and, um, you know, we were always someplace, but a big, a big schooner. Uh, you just flushed overboard. That was before you had mass raider tanks and all that stuff. And then I remember the first time I got a house that had a septic tank, not in the city. It was so mystical. Where does it go? 
it just goes into the earth somewhere. Where does it go down there? You know, I was just, you know, baffled. I could have done research, I suppose, <laughs> just for years, you know, and then finally realized it's just an angled pipe with gravity and there's a big hole with sand in it and it just goes into that hole or a tank. There's a tank and then the tank leaches into the sand. Sorry, I should explain it correctly. There's a tank and then a tank. But it was, you know, it's like, people do that? They just, like, go in the ground? And, of course, people, when you go uh, over a boat, they're like, you're polluting the whole, you know, it's terrible. What are you doing? Of course, you didn't think it thought it was a big, vast ocean. But when you're in the marina and everybody was flushing back then and there weren't tanks, we used to call them brown trout, you know. <laughs> They'd be, yeah, all right. I don't know how I got on that subject. <laughs> you guys, these guys are used to it. Um, yeah, this is the most boring consolidation right here. It's dry, And it's just boring because if it was green going up and down, it would be more fun for me. But the fact that it's red and just stops, oh, it's just going to say it just stops dead at 145. And then it just broke right through it. And now it's like, because it stayed there so long, Thinkorswim's decided to freeze me. Oh, let me let the number move a little bit. Anyway. Okay, guys, I, uh, I'm i going to give it a couple more seconds here, and then I'm just going to get out. I keep hanging on, hoping I get it green. And, of course, you know, the minute that I, I cover, it's going to go straight down. 145, 28, so it's new high. Oh, finally this is moving. Guess I'm going to be happy with 3,500 and count my blessings because that's not bad. I mean, sellers took over there with higher volume, so... This scalpers indicator is saying it should be going down. Remember, this is free. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. This is free on the channel, the scalpers indicator. Hey, 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 there we go. Don't get out too soon. I'm just going to take that. Oh, it went to 60. <laughs> all right. I took that uh, just because I need to get going, guys. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, it was uh, you learned something. These guys are going to go on trading without me, and I will see you next time.